information was revealed Friday into the mindset of Jennifer Dulos as she was going through her divorce from Bodus. It was obvious that she was going through a lot. She was departing from her husband. She was leaving the house, said Jeffrey Bunch, the VP of Daily Moving and Storage. Jeffrey and his wife, Gina, own the moving company that helped relocate Jennifer from Farmington to New Canaan. She was scared. She was absolutely scared, recalled Gina. Jennifer's move that was rescheduled four times. We would actually go down there, and we weren't allowed in by her husband. He wouldn't let the gentleman in the house, said Jeffrey. On the day the move finally happened, Jennifer asked the movers to show up incognito. She wanted me to come in regular clothes and in a vehicle that wasn't marked, said Jeffrey. That's very unusual, added Gina. She definitely did not want word to get out where she was going and when she was going there. She described photos as aloof. I have a wonderful husband and I trust him explicitly. When you see the opposite of that, it really jumps off the page. He had no desire to have a conversation with any of us, recalled Gina. Also, new Friday, Fotis Dulos was in Hartford Court on a civil suit. Fotis is accused of stealing $2.5 million from Jennifer's mother, Gloria Farber. Fotis claims it was a gift. Farber's attorney, Richard Weinstein, claims Fotis hasn't been financially supporting his kids. The man didn't pay a dime in alimony, let alone a dime in child support, he said in court. They're taking the case to trial in December. Try to recover some of the money for his kids, explained Weinstein as he left the courthouse. Gloria Farber's attorney expressed his frustration that the civil suit has bounced around from judge to judge, but now with two lawsuits combined into one and a single judge presiding over all the hearings, he hopes it will be resolved more quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. And I am still praying for Jennifer and her mom and her kids and everybody that left her.